How's it going everyone? Zabby here. Hope everyone had a great holidays. We're back with another episode of the Baltimore Orioles Out of Park Baseball Series. And we got a comment in the last video by Dylan Stone. He said, can Eugeniel Diaz play center? If he can, I definitely go after Ben Intendi and maybe trade Mullins. If not, I think Talion makes sense to grab him and hope he becomes your ace. Now there's a few things um, I want to check out about that comment. Is Eugeniel Diaz can play center? Just not very effectively. I mean, he'd probably still be better than Mullins at center. But I'm kind of liking how good he is in right field. So I kind of want to leave him there. And I don't know. If we go after Brendan Tenney, then we don't really have any money left over for anything. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign Jameis Italian and hope that he can be our ace. Because honestly, where is he? Oh, this is, this is not free agents. I'm being dumb. Where is he? All players. There he is. So he wants $18 million. And I was looking at his stuff. Let me open. He's a good pitcher, man. I think he could become our ace. For $18 million, it's not terrible. And he wants six years. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to offer this. I'm not going to try and um, try and get him for less or anything. I think that that's a fair deal for him. So we're going to offer that. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to try and make a trade. Now, there is one trade that I was looking at before I started recording that I wanted to do. Now, it's for a center fielder, and it would be a little bit expensive to do, uh, but Ramon Lariano of the Oakland Athletics, a really good center fielder, like really, really good. Um, he did, I guess he played a little bit of right field last year, but he's got a freaking cannon. So he could be a perfect center fielder for us. Now, it's going to cost a little bit. The trade that I did look at was, let me find it. It was Brendan McKay, who's been pretty good for us. And where is Mullins? It was Brendan McKay and Mullins. Now, they like this deal. I could maybe try and add to get something else. I doubt it, though. Uh, like, we could probably grab another, like, young reliever or something. I guess not him. Maybe a starter. Catcher. They can, if they can send me a half decent starter back, they don't want to. That's okay. You guys know what I'm saying. We could do this trade. Now, this one's really, really tough because Brendan McKay is a batter and he can pitch and he's pretty good at both, in all honesty. But this is a huge upgrade at center for it, like a massive upgrade at center for it. Cedric Mullins has been good, but his defense is really, really bad. Like, look at his arm and stuff. Like, it, it is only, like, 10 worse or whatever, but even at center, he's only, like, 40 out of 80. So, he's really not that great. And if we're being honest, this was his worst year. Like, he was really good last year, but, yeah. I think this is a trade I want to do. Now, Brent, giving up Brendan McKay is honestly tougher than giving up Mullins because we're not going to be able to replace Brendan McKay immediately. Uh, we did get him relatively cheap, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got him for Michael Givens. So it's not really a huge deal. But this is something I think we should do. I think this is going to improve our team. Jameis and Talion can kind of replace McKay. But I think this deal is going to really help us. Just look at how good he is in center. Hit a 4.6 4 war last year. I think we got to do this. So there we go. Created for an all-star. We got our new center fielder, Ramon Lariano. He's, uh, he's a beast, man. We're going to set his position to center. And he's going to be our big league center fielder from now on. And he's only 28, so I think it's a good deal. It um, I think it's a good deal for both teams. I think it makes sense. Uh, but we definitely get a defensive upgrade, and then we should still have enough money left over to get uh, Jameis Italian. Let me just double check here. Go to free agent. Uh, so yeah, we got three million left over, and that's with the pending offer to Jameson. So I think that's looking all right. We're gonna sim ahead a little bit here. Actually, I'm gonna make sure that I have all the players set for the Rule Five draft. Anyone with really high potential, I don't want to be going. Uh, we could probably keep that starter. Um, like we're okay there. All those guys probably won't get picked. 
Anybody else? Adam Paul. He could get picked. Maybe I'll throw him up there too, just, just to be safe. Then I don't think anyone else is really going to be that big of a deal. Now also, we have Jason Dominguez coming up too, which I guess I could have looked at. Um, he's really, really good defensively too, but he's a few years away from being ready. Like he's only 19, and we signed him at the very start of this. So, like, he's got a ways to go still, and I don't want to wait that long for a center fielder. So, we got Loriano. I think that's a really good signing, but let's go ahead here and see if we can get Jameis Italian. Uh, these guys got to be activated. They're still... Dude, Corbin and Lucheski being out that long is fucking crazy. But, yeah, let's see if we can get him. I, um... I really hope we get James Italian. He could definitely be our ace. And as long as he doesn't have a bad first year, I think his stats will stay the same or even get a little bit better. So we got a personal message. Contract update. I'm close to offended by your offer. Well, that's not good. Now he wants 23 million. I can't even afford that. That's not good. Looks like we're not going to be getting him. Is there anyone else I could try to... That fucking sucks. I was really hoping he was going to want to sign. I mean, we could try and trade Freed or something, but we need, we need Freed. Could maybe try and trade Cisco because we have uh, Canley. But I don't know about that. Cisco's been really, really good for us. So it looks like we're going to have to do something a little bit different. I mean, it's my own fault because I could have, I should have known that he wasn't going to sign for the first offer, but there's not much you can do. So it looks like we're not going to get our race. So we're going to have to try and find someone else. Maybe someone a little bit cheaper. Someone who can come in and and help us but yeah we're just going to completely withdraw that offer for jameson which really sucks i really wanted to get him but there's not much we can do so we have 21 million dollars let's just sort by starting pitchers we're gonna see who's available a little bit cheaper maybe um someone who is not too bad alvarez is only 26 wants like nothing uh, he hasn't pitched in the big in the big leagues uh, yet, but he looks like he could be all right. Zach Godley, let's check out his stats last year. He had a 2.5 WAR with San Francisco. He's actually not bad. He's only 32. Let's see how many years he wants. He wants too long. Yeah, that's too long of a deal for me. I don't want that. I'd like to do one one year. To be completely honest, I don't want to do. I don't want to do five years. He's a little bit. Ooh. Is that Philly's Aaron Nola? What the hell happened to him? Alright, so... Looks like Aaron Nola died here along the way, basically. I almost want to take a shot just on him just because I'm a Phillies fan. He's only 29. Alright. What we're going to do... We're going to meet the demand... For Aaron Nola. And then we're also going to get this Alvarez guy here. Now, I think... One or maybe both of these guys can be a starter for us. And I know that's not the big name free agent that we wanted. But we did make a pretty big trade. And now let's just go back to all players. And let's see. Is there anyone else we could try? I mean, we could have tried to get Benintendi. But we don't really necessarily need a left fielder. I know Dylan, Dylan wanted us to go grab him. But I don't know. We don't necessarily need him. You could bring back Zach Britton again. You get JD Martinez for a bench bat. Wants 16 mil. Viscaino. Could maybe sign. Again, we don't really need a ton of bullpen help, so it's not really the end of the world. Maybe we maybe we will grab JD Martinez for a bench bat here. But then again, maybe not. Corey Nebel. He was really good last year. He'd be a great bullpen ad too. But we really don't need... don't really need bullpen too much, in all honesty. 
Jameson does not want to negotiate. That's fine. All right, let's sim ahead. See if we can get Nola and Alvarez here. And then at least we know we have enough um, okay starting pitchers to go into the next year. We didn't grab our ace. But I'm hoping a big upgrade at center will be uh, will be our best bet here. I do want to find that ace, but Yelich signs with the Astros. Correa signs with the Astros. That's just that's just d depressing. Alvarez, thanks, fair offer. Jamie Centalian signs with the Los Angeles Angels. Um, they didn't say how much. How much did he make? Let's see here. Twenty-one million dollars. So I, I think I offered him that. I think I offered him twenty-one million. He was like, nah. Anthony Rendon for Duran Tuchin and Bobby Witt Jr. I'm not trading Bobby Witt Jr. I don't care unless it's Mike Trout coming back. Basically, I'm not, not trading him. Let's see if we get these guys. Trade proposal from the Tampa Bay Rays. Oh yeah, that's another thing we have to do. We have to make sure that um. Well, actually, now it'll be fine because we traded Brennan McKay. So, Downcastle will definitely be our first baseman. Uh, Rule 5 draft. I don't really want to do anything in this again. Not a big Rule 5 draft type of guy. Like, I mean, you can get some players out of there that are all right. This guy's actually not bad. This Will Wilson guy. It's actually really not bad. Now, the question is... Do we trade Lourdes? Well, let's see if that guy's there. We'll see if this guy's there at our pick. I might, I might take this Will Wilson guy. In all honesty, he's um, he's pretty good, and he's only 24. So this might be the first time I actually utilize the Rule Five draft. So let's go to next pick by Baltimore. See if that Will Wilson guy's there. Oh, he is. This is risky. This is risky, but it gives us a little bit more money to maybe go and try and get someone else. I mean, Lourdes has just been so good. But I don't know if I can even, like, handle trading him. Where is he? Like, this dude is batting, like, like, he's pretty outstanding every single year. Yeah, I, you know what? I can't get rid of uh, Lourdes yet. That was the first trade we made in this series. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Even though I want to. I really want to, in all honesty. I'm not going to do it. As much as I would like to. I'll skip these first few picks here. Just because I don't want it to draft me anyone. Alright, there we go. Draft has ended. We'll keep going on. And see if we can get Nola. I hope Nola can turn it around. If he signs with us. I think that'd be pretty good. Patances to the Dodgers. Real Muto to the Mariners. Real Muto would have been a good grab. But we don't really need him. Because Cisco and Canley have been. Like growing like crazy. So Cisco might actually be on the way out. If Canley keeps growing the way he does. There we go. Aaron Nola has signed with the Baltimore Orioles. Now. He was really bad last year for the Phillies. And really bad for Boston. Let's hope he can turn it around here. I think he's going to have uh, an important role for us. I think he's going to be pretty good for us. And we need to get more starters because our starters just keep getting injured. So, like we still, I don't think we're going to have Lucheski or Corbin for the start of the year. I'm not going to trade John Gray and I'm not going to trade Austin Hayes. Austin Hayes is a friggin' beast. I'm not trading him. So, no thank you, Colorado. He'll hit 50 home runs at Coors Field, so no, not happening. All right, Aaron Nola, we're going to throw onto the team. Oh, we don't have enough room on the secondary. The question is now, who do we get rid of? Get rid of this guy. I'm going to release him for now. Don't really need him. And we'll keep going until we get our boy Alvarez. Which we should get. I don't think anyone else is going to offer him anything. Godly signs with the Angels. Dude, the, the Angels just improved their rotation like crazy. Hall of Fame voting results. There you go if you guys want to see what happened. And we'll continue on here. 
Hopefully we get Alvarez. Uh, I'm not sure when Corbin's contract runs out. That's one thing I actually did want to look at. But Corbin's got two years left. And then we free up a ton of money. That was honestly probably a bad trade. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I think that was probably a trade I regret the most in this. Um, even though Corbin played well when he was playing. He played really, really well. And I think he would have made the playoffs if he didn't get hurt. But it's a lot of money for a guy who's just like playing really well and not like elite. You know what I'm saying? If we don't have Corbin, we have enough for Jameis Italian. He's probably better. So it is kind of frustrating. Did we sign Alvarez yet? Or is it still just kind of dicking us around here? I'm going to look. But I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure. Did we sign him? We'll just go to pending offers here and see. Okay, so we didn't sign him. Did we? Oh no, there he is. Is that him? Under minor league contract with the Orioles. Yeah, that's him. He's not as good as I remember, but we'll call him up. We're gonna promote him to Baltimore. He's got a really good fastball and a really good slider. Like that's like really, really good. So I'm hoping he can maybe at least be there for when we have injuries. But let's go up to opening day here. And we're gonna we're probably gonna get the season started. I think we'll get the season started to go up to the draft. It depends on how long um, how long it takes for us to get to the start of the season. But either way, I think this is going to be a very important offseason for us. I think getting Roman Laureano is going to be a big, big help. We're going to have way better defense in center. And honestly, there's nothing worse than having bad defense in center. And there you go. Alvarez is already hurt. So welcome to the team. They actually have him playing as a reliever, but we might change that. We'll keep going towards opening day here. Again, you guys already know I'm not a big fan of spring training. I don't care. Max Freed, herniated disc. We did not fire our physio guy, by the way. Or our trainer or whatever you want to call him. So if we have a repeat of last year, he is getting his ass fired mid-season. I'm not kidding. He cannot take those injuries all year again. That was crazy. You just can't do it. Can't do it. Right, we're generating predictions now. Let's take a look at the top prospect list here. I uh, hope the offseason has treated you well. I hope you're able to achieve a winning season playing better than 500. Yeah, that's the plan, dude. Top 100 prospects list. There you go. There's the top 10. Uh, let's see if we have anyone. So, Turchin's actually a really, really good prospect for us. So... There's a good chance that he turns out like the way the OSA is thinking. Which if he does, means he probably didn't need Loriano, but let's be honest. He's 25. I don't think he's going to get too much better. Maybe. And even then we can just play him in uh, a different spot in the outfield. So it's not a huge deal. Let's see if we have anyone else on the uh, additional players list. Nope. What about prospects? Lewis Ledzma. I think this is the guy we drafted this year. Yeah, he looks pretty good. Anyone else? Luis Delgadio. Another good pick there. And then we have Giovan Giovannini Heredia. Jesus, what a name, dude. All right, I'm not even gonna... I fucked that up, for sure. Either way, not too shabby. We have some prospects there. We're gonna go to the minor league reports. We're down to fifth now, so I mean that's expected to be honest with you. We lost um Bobby Witt Jr. So that's to be expected. But I can take that. Oh, we're at the season. That was quicker than I thought. Alright. So we gotta trim down our roster now though. Which shouldn't be too hard, in all honesty. I'm just gonna get rid of a lot of the uh this guy. Yeah, whatever. You can wave and designate. Urchin can definitely go down. Roberts can definitely go down. A lot of these guys can go down. We don't need that many. Ooh, Ortis got worse. 
I should have picked that guy up, man. I should have done it. I was being loyal to Lordus just because he was the first trade we did. And he's been really, really good. Oh yeah, I gotta wave him. What am I doing? Wave and designate. So we definitely have to keep Lordus. That can go down. You can go down too. We're at 28. Bruce Zimmerman's actually not a bad pitcher for us, but don't know if I want him. Oh yeah, these guys have to go on the IL too. Place on injured list two months. Yeah. Yeah, so actually, we do have more room than I thought. I just forgot that it doesn't automatically put them back on the IL. So we are starting the season without Corbin. And Lucheski, so it's gonna be tough. We're gonna bring back up um base. That starter we just sent down. What was the starter we just sent down? It didn't demote him somewhere else, did it? Am I am I just being blind? What was his name? I just forgot his name. I'm gonna have to look back. Anyways, here I'll just sort by starters. Um, what was it? Oh, I never actually set him down. What am I saying, man? God damn. All right, let's see what we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, we're actually all right on relievers. And this is uh, what our rotation is going to look like right now. It's not very good, but I think when um, Corbin and Lucheski come back, gonna be a lot better all right so uh loriano is actually leading off then we got cisco hayes beer mount castle bobby witt jr take a look at bobby witt here look at his freaking defense man this dude is insane at defense that is absolutely fucking nuts his um his offense isn't quite there yet but he's only 22 so he definitely can still work out tommy edmund been a pretty solid pickup for us and we got used neil diaz gold glover and right and then Lord is batting second. If he has a bad year, then we'll look for another upgrade at second. Not a not a huge deal, but we definitely need one more bench bat here. This guy's only 23. That's probably something else we could have done. Is just signed um signed a bench bat. An older dude, but whatever. Not a big deal. Was it Reyes? No. Joe Mar Reyes. Uh maybe we will call up Turch and then. Uh, I don't know. He's got a good eye. I mean, we might as well, right? Let's give him. Let's give him a shot. He's not going to end up playing over Loriano anyways because his defense is not as good. But let's um let's see how the start of the season goes. We're at 23 minutes. We'll do uh we'll do a few games here, see how it goes. I think the team's going to be all right. I think this is going to be a good off season. Hopefully, when we get our pitchers back, it goes even better. And Alvarez can probably be uh. Probably be a starter for us too, which is what I envisioned him. But you know, if Bethany wants to do that, then whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop him. But yeah, let's see. We'll go up. We'll go up to the draft, and yeah, we'll go up to the draft. Wait, 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 wait. Still have a spring training. Wait, what did that say? Spring trainee on the roster. I thought I signed him though. Where is he? I just being blind probably just being blind um okay i'll sort by relievers and make it easier Hopper extension i thought that's what i gave him but i can't actually have him on the roster even though i offered him a contract all right we'll just call up um Actually, we're, we're going to leave it for now because he's going to sign and I want him back on the team. So yeah, let's head towards the draft. See how we do at the start of the season here. And then maybe we can have some changes ready to go for the next video. We're just going to get a save in here. But yeah, I think our offseason went good. Oriano is a good pickup. I wish we would have got James Italian, but... Oh no. Okay, just day to day. We're alright. Here is uh, the, the growth. Bruce Zimmerman got a little bit better. Lucheski... 
Um, Lucheski might be done just because of the injuries, which is terrible. Ian Hamilton is a complete stud. Patrick Corbin got worse. I think Corbin's going to be done because of that injury. And there we go. Bobby Witt Jr. His power rating went up and his eye went up and his speed went up. Look at that. Oh my god. I think this is definitely the year that Bobby Witt's going to be ready, which is great. We needed that. Kerchan's eye went up. He's going to play a little bit this year. Jason Dominguez got a little bit better. Jason Dominguez might actually be solid for us. I know he was good when we signed him. I kind of forgot about him, to be honest. But all right. Let's uh, let's get a few games in here and see how it goes. We're 3-1, and 4-1. One, and one. Not bad. Let's, um, let's not suck this year, all right? So, Drew Jackson. I wonder if anyone wants him. I'll just shop him. If anyone wants him, then whatever. We'll take it. If not, whatever. I can just release him. It's not a big deal. Or send him down. Um, I might as well, right? We're not going to keep Drew Jackson. I don't really want him anymore. We don't really need him anymore. We might as well send him someplace he can... He can go play, right? Uh, he should be able to go down. Now he can go down for sure. Oh, no, he can't. That sucks. All right, so I'll wave him. Might get taken. Either way, it's the same scenario as before. He's a little bit younger, so we can... At least, at least we got something for him. If he doesn't get claimed, then whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, Alvarez's contract got signed. We're going to call him back up. Baltimore. And let's, uh, let's, let's do a few more. We're at 27 minutes. I'll probably stop once we hit 30. So, yeah, uh, Tavares did get claimed. So, we did lose um, Drew Jackson for nothing, but, you know, whatever. Either way, we were going to... I was just going to cut him. Personal message, the claim got executed. He was a member of our organization for literally one day. So I don't think he's going to care too much. And uh, we're kind of having a slow start again. Sitting at around 500. We've got to go on a nice little winning streak here if we want to have a good start to the season. But we're just kind of sitting around 500 again. I don't like that. Roman Laureano has back spasms. Not all right, let's go a little bit further. Lourdes Gurriel Jr., five weeks. All right. Looks like, um, man, I should have taken that guy. I knew I should have done it. I was just being stupid because I wanted to keep him. It's because he's my boy, and he's been really, really good for us. I just didn't want to get rid of him yet. But we need to go on a winning streak here. We need our pitching to work out. We're going to take a little break here at the end of this and just quickly look at stats. And then we'll uh, we'll relook at them again at the deadline. But yeah, this is not going good. We're at 13 and 18. I knew pitching was going to be an issue again. But I was hoping if we could just make a few small moves, it'd be all right. Patrick Corbin is recovering well. He will be back in six weeks. Yeah, but now he sucks. We need we need those guys back, though. We definitely need them back. We're 15 and 20. Let's just uh, end it here. We'll quickly look at stats. Uh, we'll view batting stats. There's the home run leader, RBI leader, average. Um, dude, Duran Turchin is actually a baller. Slugging, ISO, OPS. OPS plus and there's war so far chance Cisco having a good year Bobby Witt uh, he's not having a great year at the plate but at least his on base is 297 so I mean it's like it's not great but his defense is his big thing right now which is awesome other than that there's the stats for the batters just go to pitchers here there's ERA whip whip there we go home runs per nine Box, A's, 
and here's war if you want to take it i mean it's super early like we're barely even in so it's not a huge deal anyways hopefully in the next video we can turn this around a little bit i'm um i'm pretty disappointed in the start of the season i was hoping we were going to have a bigger like a bigger presence from our players here and thought that maybe getting loriana would be enough He's only batting 237 with the 298 on base but I think he's going to turn it around. He was a lot better for Oakland last year. I think he's going to turn it around, and I think we're going to be all right. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the description, the links to my social media platforms and Discord, where you can come hang out. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a video. And also comment down below, and I'll try to respond as best as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.